Hey guys, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Hello and howdy on a fall afternoon in gorgeous Paducah, Kentucky. You can see the trees in the background starting to change color. That the cool temps are officially here. Today, I've got a 2017 model Renegade Volvo VNL chassis, 600 horsepower under the hood with the iShift 12 speed automatic transmission. This Renegade's a 15 foot conversion, so that means we're measuring from behind the cab to the back of the box is 15 foot. It's got a 284 inch wheelbase, so that's center of steer axle to the center of the tandems, 284 inches. That's a common question we get on the toter homes. Uh, one slide out, as you can see on the driver's side, again, 600 horsepower under the hood, 45,000 miles. The previous owners had it for two or three years, I believe. They kept it inside. This truck is in immaculate condition. I pick them apart and I really couldn't find anything to pick this one for. So uh, 8,000 watt own-in generator, diesel, of course, feeds off the truck tanks. Um, I believe it's got 150 hours, hardly any time on it. Um, as you can see, the white on top with the polished stainless around the bottom. As we come around the back, it does have the, um, the big hitch in it. Uh, this one is rated for 40,000 pounds. Uh, or the rails are, I think with the current two and five sixteenths ball, it's good for 30,000, but we do keep the panel hitches. I've got a two inch receiver. I've got all of them in stock so we can uh, fix you up with a hitch of your choice that, that works for you. Um, two, in, two and five sixteenths and the big three inch gooseneck ball uh, mounted there in the bed of it. Uh, extruded aluminum rear deck. Michelin tires all the way around, something kind of unique. So when this truck was sold new, it was sold with a trailer that had a front entry door to it. So you would walk out of the back of the truck into the front of the trailer, if you can kind of imagine that. So it had an awning on the back, which is unique. I thought it was cool. It's also got a side awning. Uh, you could put um, an outdoor cooler or an outdoor TV down there if you wanted. Uh, but you've got your side awning. So these folks that uh, previously owned the truck didn't have the trailer. Um, they just bought the truck, not the trailer. So they added these side steps. You can see in the photos, they fold up out of the way. Very neat, clean, simple. So it allows you to you know, access the rear deck and get into the back of the coach. Um, again, a uh, 15 foot conversion on this one. Uh, we'll take you through the interior here in just a moment, so hang tight with us. I just want to give you a, a quick view of the outside. Uh, again, super, super nice shape and big horsepower under the hood on this one. So swing back over this way. We'll take you through the inside. Very unique interior layout. So probably one of the, I'm going to say a one of one. I've sold a bunch of these. I've been around a bunch of them over the years. And I don't think I've ever seen one laid out like this. Nothing wrong with it. Actually, it's really cool how it's laid out. So um, as you walk in the back door, you can see we have a fridge here on the right and a little kitchen area. Um, got our panel here with our inverter. It's got a 3000 watt Magnum Energy inverter. Our generator panel, it says 125 hours actually on that one. Then all of our tank switches, slide out switch and et cetera. Um, here at the countertop, you've got one of the true induction two burner cooktops, and above that, you've got a Samsung convection uh, microwave oven there. Uh, small stainless sink, as you can see, and then lots of cabinetry. So you got a cabinet over the fridge. They've actually got a couple little pantry style cabinets to the right of the fridge here. So lots of storage in it. Now, here's the cool slash unique part. Spin around over here and you have a jackknife sofa, which is located in the slide out. And then you've got, of course, the uh, the big bunk. Thinking that's either a full or a queen size bunk above the cab. Plenty of space to sleep two people comfortably. And then the jackknife sofa also folds out into a bed for two. But check this out. So we spin around over here and you've got like a little entertainment system. But instead of, you know, what I would say in this size of a conversion, uh, wasting a lot of the cabinet space for stuff below the TV, heck, 
they went ahead and just put cabinets all through there. So uh, unique. Uh, never seen another one like this one, but I kind of like it. I'll be honest with you. Again, back there, got our little kitchen area. Now, here's the star of the show. What is the number one thing people always complain slash might have changed in a toter is the bathroom. This guy, you've got plenty of room. So you walk in, commode right there, vanity, medicine cabinet, some storage below, but check out the shower. Holy cow. Wow. All tiled glass sliding door. Wow. Yeah, super nice. So, and it's full height. So I'm um, six foot three and I get in there and I don't feel, I don't have to scrunch down. I don't have to worry about my head hitting the ceiling. Lots of height in this one. Uh, it's got the plank style floor. It looks like wood, but it's actually um, like a vinyl that you can easily keep clean and then a little bit of carpet on this side. There is a table uh, leaf under the uh, jackknife sofa there with the poles. You can put in like a little dinette table, but so 15 foot conversion. Uh, 45,000 original miles, 2017 model. Um, any questions, please give me a shout uh, via text or a phone call, 270-556-8461. And uh, my name is Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Would love to earn your business. Check us out online at race-haulers.com. Give us a like on Facebook. We're on YouTube and Instagram as well. So i give you one more quick pass around the outside of this one. Again, 17 model Renegade with a 15 foot conversion on it, uh, sport deck and uh, 600 horsepower under the hood of this guy. Give me a shout if we can help you. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.